Hello! My name is Liv and welcome to my channel. This is my first video, so I'm assuming you don't know who I am. I'm Liv, like I said, I have a TikTok, it's Liv Malloy. I'll have it linked below as well as some other fun things. And on there, I do a lot of plant content and I'm kind of going to be bringing that over here because it's been highly requested. Today, to kick it all off, we're going to be doing a plant tour. Now, for the sake of the length of this video, I'm really only going to be focusing on the plants in my plant room, which happens to be majority of them, but a lot of the other ones are in my room and I'll be doing that in a separate video, most likely a room tour. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and my plant babies as much as I do. Leave a thumbs up, comment down below what you want to see in the future, and let's get on to it. To make it a little easier on me, I'm going to be pulling them down each individually to show you guys, as it's kind of hard to show up there because I am not that tall, and I think these shelves are about like six feet tall. First off, we have my gorgeous, amazing Hoya Crimson Princess. I recently got this in the mail, and I absolutely love it. You can see it has like a lot of pink coloring, and I just think it's really cute. Next, we have a little baby Hoya Carii, I think that's how you say it. And honestly, I've heard that these don't actually grow into your whole big Hoya, but it's okay. I think it's super cute. It looks like little hearts, and honestly, I love it a lot. This big guy, honestly not even that big, is my Alocasia Fry deck. I also recently got this guy in the mail and it utterly shocked me when I opened it because it is in perfect condition. As you can see, the leaves are super pretty. This doesn't even do it justice. It has the most velvety leaves I've ever seen and like, it's just so gorgeous. I, I love it to death. To go along with the Alocasia trend, this is my Alocasia Poly. It has very distinguished, would you call them veins? I don't know. And the back sides are kind of like a burgundy, I would say, more of a, like a maroon. I just think it's super cool. I don't have much to say about these guys because a lot of people critique them a ton as they can be kind of finicky, but honestly, I haven't had much issues with this. I literally got this at 10.30 at night at a grocery store. It's been an interesting ride with this guy, but. He's been doing good. Finishing up that top shelf is my big and beautiful Neon Pothos. Um, excuse me, what is this? I think it's super pretty. It's honestly probably one of my favorite pothos and it grows fairly rapidly, so that's always a plus. If you're looking for a pothos, Neon Pothos, I feel are the way to go. Moving on to my second shelf down. The first plant I'm gonna be talking about is my Sega Blue Pothos. Now, you can see this guy has definitely had it in for itself. Pothos are typically pretty easy plants, but I got this in the mail and it had mealybugs. So that was kind of an issue because I had to treat it. It's just now putting out a new leaf, which is super exciting as it hasn't really done anything since I got it. Although I really like it. It's super cute. I think it's super cute. Next is one of my favorite plants. This is the variegated Morata Lacanyara. I have another one of these that isn't variegated, but I just think it's so pretty. This guy literally does not stop growing. You can see it has some new growth right there, but you can see the variegation is absolutely stunning. It's super easy. I would say Maranta Lucanuras are probably the easiest prayer plant to take care of in my opinion. I know other people have different opinions, but this guy has not done anything wrong. It needs a water, it's a bit dry. They just require a ton, a ton of humidity and you'll be good to go. This is a Syngonium Albo. I just love the leaves. It's so, so pretty and so unique. This leaf is probably the best thing I've ever seen. It has two new leaves coming in right now. You can kind of see one to the side and then this one is also coming in. So that's very exciting. Hi y'all. I apologize if the lighting completely changed. I went to the grocery store. Also funny story i got two plants at the grocery store so at the end of the video i will be featuring them yeah let's continue also let's ignore this pimple patch um you probably noticed it earlier and you know we all got acne and i got to treat it so next on my plant shelf is my philodendron bipenifolium you can also call them philodendron violins i think i love it i've only had it for about two weeks now and it's stunning these leaves were already slightly damaged when i received it but within this two week period i think it's even less I got this, it's already putting out this new leaf for me and I am so excited. To go along with the philodendron theme, this is my philodendron Florida red stem. I've had it for maybe two months now. It has not given me any growth, unfortunately, but I think it's getting there. The leaves are super, super pretty. So 
yeah. The last philodendron on this shelf is my philodendron heart leaf. Honestly, this is such a basic plant. Also, it doesn't fit in the pot. You'll see that, it's a trend. I just think it's super cool. It's growing really fast. I haven't had it for very long. It's just, just starting to trail. Lastly, on this shelf is my begonia maculata. This is a prime example of why you need to rotate your plants so they all get light because it's a bit lopsided. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and the backs are red. I just, ugh, I'm mad at myself. Look at this new leaf coming in. It's like bright pink. It's so pretty. I just, I'm so mad at myself. Moving on to the second shelf, the first plant we have is my satin pothos. I got this guy from Home Depot a very, very long time ago. The leaves are super pretty and it's finally starting to give me no new growth. You can kind of see there. Next is my philodendron lemon lime. It's basically a Hartley philodendron, but neon. It's growing so fast. Like it's put out so many new leaves for me in the time I've had it. And that's only been like two weeks. Another basic plant that I highly suggest. This is a Syngonium pink illusion. It is so pretty. The leaves are so vibrant pink. I have high hopes for this guy. This is my Raphidophora tetrasperma. I got this guy from a grocery store and it was in very bad condition. I chopped it up and I was like, it's not gonna come back. But it gave me two growth points. This one, which is just now putting out its first new leaf after I murdered it. And oh my God, I love it. I'm so proud of it. It's one of those plants that I like, I'm genuinely so proud of. This bad boy is a Citanante lubersinia. That may be the wrong name. It's a type of prayer plant. I think it's a really cool prayer plant. Look at those leaves. Like that coloring is gorgeous. This next one is a Stromanthe tricolor. A lot of the leaves are crispy and that is because this was one of the first prayer plants I got and that is before I realized that they do not like filtered or like water that's not distilled or rainwater. The new leaves you can see are in perfect condition. It's jumping back and I have high hopes for it. You can see the undersides of the leaves are magenta and I just think that's so unique. This is a dumb cane, but the scientific name is a Diefenbachia maculata exotica. A lot of people hate on dumb canes, but honestly, I think this guy is gorgeous. I don't know what it is, the texture of the leaves, and it grows super, super fast. I just think it's really pretty. Like the variegation, I love it a lot. I don't see why people hate on them. They're so pretty. This guy is a Tradiscantia ninuk. I'm not vibing with it. You know, it's not my cup of tea. I know people who are obsessed with them. I just... I don't love it. Leaves, super pretty, don't get me wrong. I don't vibe with it, but it's here, so here we go. Lastly on this shelf is a Monstera. It is a baby. Oh my God, it has a new leaf. Look at this pot. Isn't it so pretty? Now we are moving on to the second to last shelf because the very bottom I have a prop box. So let's get to it. The first plant there is a Raphidophora tetrasperma cutting that has recently been potted and I have high hopes for this guy. She's super cute. This bad boy is a peace lily domino or a variegated peace lily. The variegation is super, super pretty. I just really like it. I highly suggest, even if you don't like peace lilies, just give it a shot. This is another cutting that has been potted. This is a Monstera adansonii narrowform and it just put out this new leaf. It has one tiny fenestration. I also have hopes for this guy. With that theme, this is a Monstera adansonii wide form. It's putting out a new leaf, super, super, super pretty. There's so many fenestrations on these leaves. I think it's going to grow really big and eventually I'll put it on a moss pole once it has more than one growth point. He's just chilling like this. This is a succulent. I only have one succulent and this is it. I think it's absolutely adorable. It's really cute. I don't have anything wrong with succulent. That's this guy. This is my Anthurium adrianum black form, I think. The leaves are super pretty. They're like a maroon. It's kind of hard to see. I think it's so precious. I don't know. I love it. This is my philodendron silver sword. Super pretty leaves. You can see they're kind of, they're silver. They have a bluish tint. He's cute. Not my favorite, but yeah. This is an Oxalis triangularis. I wanted this plant for so, so long. I could not find it. It's just so pretty. And the flat, I love it so, so much. I think it's such a cool plant. Like, it's so pretty. The last plant on this shelf is my Ficus microcarpa. This is my booty bonsai. And if you couldn't tell already, she's thick so cute. It's putting out a ton of new growth. I don't think I've ever been so obsessed with a plant than this guy. Moving on, this is my string of hearts. She is very long. She has grown non-stop since I got her. Super pretty, extremely delicate. So I'm trying not to be too rough with her. I had to put my camera in an awkward angle, but that is solely because I need to show my big boy. This is my Monstera Deliciosa. That's its newest leaf. At first, I thought she had mosaic virus, but turns out it was just damage from my grow light. She's doing good. 
I love her. She just gave me three new leaves all at the same time, which was extremely exciting. If you couldn't tell already, we're at a whole new shelf with absolutely atrocious lighting. This shelf unit is where I keep my stock for my shop. I do have a little tiny terrarium where I put my rare, rare plants. Three of them have not actually come in the mail yet. So I'm gonna show you guys the ones that are in there right now. First off, this is my philodendron mikans. He's had some issues. I got him, he was in super, super bad shape. So he's a rehab. He's finally putting out a ton of new growth points and I have hope. He's in my humidity tank. This sad thing is my Anthurium forgetii. I got it in the mail. The leaves were completely dead, but the stems were healthy. My hope is that I can rehab it and it will be a gorgeous plant. But right now it's a little nub, that's okay. This is my Monstera adansonii that I won from a giveaway. It has been propagating in perlite ever since and it recently gave me a new leaf. I think she's super cute. This guy is a Syngonium cream illusion, also a potted propagation, giving me all this little tiny growth, which I think is adorable. I think she's cute. Maybe she'll be big and beautiful one day. You never know. This is my aloe vera, another plant that I literally do not care for. One ounce, she's thriving. She's put out a ton of new growth and I can't wait for it to be summer so I can use her. I do nothing to her. This is my Calathea Zabrina, and I just picked it up from the grocery store. It is in such good conditions. The leaves are so soft. It's putting out so much new growth. It's so pretty. This doesn't do it justice. Like, can you see that? She's a stunner. This is the second plant I got from the grocery store. I think it's a Sitanon thing. I also think so pretty. The maroon undersides of the leaves, it's massive. To get this for five bucks is so good. She's putting out so much new growth. Like this is a new leaf. She's so cute. That is it for my plant tour. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed. If you are looking forward to any more content, please subscribe. It will notify you when I post. Leave a comment down below what you wanna see next because I definitely want those ideas. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I have linked all my other socials down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. Mwah. Love you, bye.